Now on SCOTUS, Mr. President, what do retired conservative judges, a group of 80 current and retired state attorneys general, the U.S. Black Chambers, and the International Association of Police Chief all share in common? You might ask yourself that question. Well, they are just a few, just a few of the many, many groups and individuals that have endorsed Judge Katanji Brown Jackson for the Supreme Court. When I met with Judge Jackson a few weeks ago, it was immediately clear why so many different groups have sung her praises. On top of her brilliance, on top of her experience, she is unusually gifted at seeing and appreciating both sides of an argument. Little surprise then, that in the course of rendering nearly 550 decisions as a federal district judge, she was rarely reversed by higher courts. In fact, she has been reversed perhaps around a dozen times out of 550 decisions. That's about 2%, 2% of the time. This week, members from both sides of the aisle will continue meeting with the judge. I believe under Senator Durbin's leadership, every member of the Judiciary Committee has had the chance to meet with her. I am confident that any new conclusions my colleagues make about her will keep pointing in one direction. Judge Jackson is brilliant, she is beloved, she belongs on the Supreme Court. It is worth repeating the three Bs over and over again. Brilliant, beloved, belongs, because those three, are un those three words are undoubtedly true as applied to Judge Jackson. I yield the floor.